and today we are back in that empty catalog that we created the other day and today we're going to talk a little bit about workflow and in fact we're probably going to talk a lot about workflow in Lightroom maybe more so than going into every individual nuance of how to do every last little thing because there's a lot of information on the web for that um, what I really want to do is try to share with you guys a lot of the workflow enhancements that I have found in day-to-day -day use of Lightroom that can speed up the process for managing your images and for editing your images, for outputting your images, and so on and so forth. So one thing we're going to talk about today is when you import your images. Now I'm looking to import some images off of a card that I've got in my Firewire card reader. And these are images that I shot with the Fro in New York City the other day. We got together. Uh, we made some videos and, uh, you know, I took a bunch of images, we did some portraits, yada yada. So I wanted to show you guys some of the very cool features that you can apply to importing images with Lightroom, okay? Now, one of the things that, that it, it says over here in the import dialog is apply during import. Now this is typically blank, but what I've gotten here is a develop setting, ALP Basic Sharp. And that is a preset that I've created that just applies some basic sharpening. I typically apply basic sharpening to all of my images. So I'm going to have that develop setting applied to all of these images while they're importing so that when I get them into my library, those settings have been applied. Another thing that I'm going to have applied to all of these images during import is metadata. Metadata is huge. It's so important. Metadata is the data that's going to sit inside the data portion of the file. That's going to have anything from copyright information, from your web address, whatever it is that you decide to put in there, that will be applied. And this is great when you're sharing your images, whether you're putting them on Facebook, whether you're putting them on your website, you can embed information. This is information, if you, if you embed it now on the import, you never have to think about it again. Keywording. Keywords are great. Keywords are going to be huge for you because let's say you wanted to find an image that you've shot and you shot it like three months or three years ago and it's somewhere in your library. All you can do is type in some keywords and bam, that image is going to come up. It also is really helpful when you're exporting your images to post, let's say, on Flickr because there's all kinds of keyword and tagging that if you don't have to type it again, why type it again? Apply it on the, in on the onset of importing these images and it'll be there. So I've um, created a bunch here and I'm just going to paste those into there for the sake of time. I'm going to import these. Now, as these images are importing, um, all of these settings are being applied. And one of the things that, that really is great about all of this is that once I get these images into my library, I will have all of those basic settings embedded in these images. It doesn't mean that that's the be all end all that it's done, that there's no way for me to modify it or change it. It just means that I've applied some basic settings and I've gotten a little bit of jump on the game here. So that's what I wanted to talk about today. And uh, we're gonna get into a lot of workflow stuff here. So thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.